Hi, in this video I'm going to show you the example of using a private data file outside of the root directory. So here is an example of just uh, showing you that. I have a file here called dbconnect. It's in the htdocs folder. I'm using XAMPP by the way so you kind of understand what's going on. Inside the XAMPP folder, um, the htdocs is the root directory for the uh, web server. Okay, so if you launch on the server, uh, you're not going to see anything above or outside of the htdocs folder. And let me launch the uh, browser here so you can see I'm at the root directory. I'm using XAMPP by the way. So you have to run this through XAMPP. And so the local host is the root directory that points to the htdocs folder. Right now it's pointing to the dashboard because the index, you know, um, forces me to go there. So I'm going to go and connect uh, load this DB Connect file. It's inside the htdocs right here. Now this one it just does a really simple database connection to my database and I'm calling a connect function and it's going to return either a successful connection or some error messages and I call the DB object down here so uh, it, it should display the information okay and it's going to print this local data first and then makes a connection and then prints either connected or a failure okay so let's go over here and I'm going to change this to DB connect all right so you see that it's um, successfully connected using the local data okay so now um, the local host here points to the htdocs folder in here you cannot access data outside of htdocs so what I have here is that I move I create a folder called underscore private and the inside that private folder I have a private data file that contains the exact same location in the same data here as well. I added a statement to say private data instead of the uh, local connected data. So now I'm going to turn all these off. Okay. And then we're just going to rely on the external one. So you can see that in code, you can go outside of the root directory using these directories, right? You can go outside as far as you want to the root root of the server if you want to. But right now we are outside of the htdocs folder and I'm going to go to the private folder, access this file uh, in the code only. Okay. And then save that. And then now let's go back to the browser and refresh it. And now you see that I'm, ca I'm calling the private data now. Okay. And not the local data because I, I used the include here. And just to show that it does work, I'm going to go in and you know, maybe changes to like root X so the user should fail and um, it should also fail the connection here. Okay, so that's the idea. So th again, you cannot go outside of the, the DB Connect here. If you try to do something like this, if you try to go and launch this directly like that in the browser, it's not going to work. Okay, you will be very tempted to do something like that because the dot dot slash We'll go up the directory and then into the private folder and then private data. And then if you try to run it, it's not going to work. OK, so it's not possible. That's what I mean by having your data in a safe and secure location. Hope that's helpful. OK, but one more thing. This is only works uh, because we're, we're running on a public um, server, right? And a public server here. Now, of course, it doesn't work inside you know, PHP my admin, I mean, uh, um, PHP storm, because we're doing this on its own server, which we have access to everything in the C drive, uh, actually in the XAMPP folder. So in this case, the XAMPP folder is the root directory of this project in PHP. So if you were to run this locally on the browser here from PHP um, server, you can see that the root directory is actually point to the local host, which is something beyond um, um, something that, uh, beyond the, the local host and the uh, XAMPP folder. Okay. So that's why I'm able to see it's like go all the way to the XAMPP directory here. That's the project root of this PHP. If you were to store data outside of the XAMPP folder, like you said in your email in the C drive, then yeah, it will be the same thing. Okay. So um, just not to confuse this with this one here, because if I were to copy what I typed earlier and put it here, let's say, you know, right here, right, like that. Yeah, I'm. A, I, I'm. I will be able to find it. Um, well, let me go. Uh, da, da. Oops. 
yeah, it's in the HT docs and then outside the HT docs right here. I made a mistake. If I do, if I do that, uh, where'd it go? No, if I just access directly, um, maybe it's in the private folder because I have access to the entire um, structure. Right. If I do that, then you can see that I'm able to access it because I'm working on PAP Storm. But on the real server, you cannot do that. Okay, so I hope that helped clarifies your question and thanks.